Hello friends from this video tutorial we are start making product filter in CodeIgniter framework by using Ajax, in this product filter we will also add pagination feature also. We have already published product filter by using jQuery price range slider, checkbox filter in PHP script with Ajax jQuery. But we have received huge response from viewers, for make this type of Ajax product filter application in CodeIgniter framework with pagination links. So, here we have make an advanced product filter in CodeIgniter using Ajax with pagination link, in which user can filter mobile on price, mobile brand, mobile RAM, and mobile storage capacity. If you have visit any e-commerce website, in which you have seen product divided into different page with pagination link navigation. So for search particular product we can find different type of filter option, so we can easily filter product according to our requirement, so this type of feature we have make here. Now let's start discussing this topic. This is our testing database in which we have one product table with table column like product ID, product name, product brand, product price, product RAM, product storage. Product camera, product image, product quantity, and product status. In this table we have already inserted some data of mobile phone, so we will fetch data from this table display on web page, and make advanced PHP Ajax filter. This is our code igniter working folder, first we have go to application folder, and under this we have go to config folder, and open autoload.php file. And so, under this first we have to define some autoload library, so during code execution we do want to load library again and again. For this in dollar autoload libraries variable we have defined database and session library, so when first time code igniter application run it will load it, so we do not want load this library again. After this we want to define base URL of the system, so we have open config.php file, and here in dollar config base URL variable, we have defined base URL of this application. Now we want to make database connection, so we have go to database.php, and in this we have set host name to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection, now we are proceed for coding, so here we have already make three file like product filter controller under controller folder, product filter model under model folder, folder, and product filter under view folder, because CodeIgniter is a MVC framework, so make any application in this, we have to make model, controller, and views file. Now we have open product filter controller file, and here we have write public function construct method, this method will be execute when new object of this class has been created. With under this we have write dollar this with load object with model method, under this we have write product filter model, this method will load product filter model.
and cr when new object of this class been created, so we do not want load again this model under this class, and we can directly use method of this model class. Now we have make index function, this is root method of this class, so when in browser, we have type base url slash product filter, then this method of code will execute. Under this method we have write dollar data brand data variable is equal to dollar this, with product filter model, with fetch filter type method. Name, with product brand table column name as argument, this method will return product brand list. Now we have go to product filter model, and here we have make fetch filter type function with dollar type argument, this method will return different product filter like brand, storage, RAM data from product table. Under this function we have write dollar this with database object with distinct method, this method will add distinct in select query, for return unique row of data. Below this we have write dollar this with database object with select method, under this method we have write dollar type variable, this method will make dynamic select query, and select table column which get from this dollar type variable. After this we have write dollar this we with database object with from method, under this method we have write product table name, in this method we'll define table name under select query. With same way we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument like, product status, and one, this method will add where clause under query. Statement. Lastly we have write return statement with dollar this with database object with get method, this method will make query, and run that query. Now we have go to product filter controller, and here we have write dollar data ram data variable is equal to, dollar this with product filter model with fetch filter type function. Under this function we have write product ram table column name, this method will return unique product ram data, here we have use same function for fetch product ram data. Same way for get product storage data, here we have write dollar data product storage variable is equal to, dollar this with product filter model, with fetch filter type function. Products. Under this function we have write product storage table column name, here this function will return product storage table column unique data. Lastly under this function we have write, dollar this with load object with view method with two argument, in first argument we have write product filter, and in second argument we have write dollar data variable. View. Now we have go to product filter view file, and here we have already included jQuery library, bootstrap library, jQuery user interface library, which we can seen here. ML. Now we have moved to write HTML code, so here first we have write input type is equal to hidden field with id is equal to hidden minimum price with value is equal to zero, under this variable we will store minimum price range of slider. Type is, below this we have write input type is equal to hidden with id is equal to hidden maximum price, and value is equal to 65,000, in this field we will store maximum price of price range slider. After this we have write paragraph tag with id is equal to price show, with text like 1000-65000, 
This text will be changed when we have move price range slider. Here, for display jQuery slider here we have write division tag with ID equal to price range. Under this tag we will display jQuery slider with minimum and maximum price. This block of code for price range. Now we want to display all mobile phone brand name with checkbox for filter mobile phone according to particular brand. So here we have write for each loop, and under this we have write dollar brand data with result array method as dollar row variable. This method will return brand data in array format, which we can access from dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write division tag with class is equal to list group item, and checkbox. But under this tag we have write input type is equal to checkbox, class is equal to common selector and brand, value is equal to dollar row product brand variable, and in text also we have write dollar row product brand variable. This code will display all brand name with checkbox on web page. Now we have C output in browser. Page has friends here we can see when page has been load into browser. Then here we can see mobile phone brand list with checkbox. By selecting particular brand checkbox user can filter mobile phone on web page. Now we have go to product filter view file, and here we want to display list of mobile phone RAM size on web page, so user can filter mobile phone according RAM size. So here we have write for each loop, and under this we have write dollar RAM data variable, with result array method as dollar row variable, this function return RAM data in array format. Under this loop we have write division tag with class is equal to list group item and checkbox. Under this tag we have write input type is equal to checkbox, class is equal to common selector and RAM, value is equal to dollar row product RAM variable, and in text also we have write dollar row product RAM variable. This code will display all mobile phone RAM with checkbox on web page. Now we have C output in browser. Friends here we refresh page, and after this here we can see mobile phone brand list, and mobile phone RAM with checkbox, by selecting particular brand, and RAM size checkbox user can filter mobile phone on web page. Now we have go to product filter view filter, and here we want to display list of mobile phone internal storage size on web page, so user can filter mobile phone according internal storage size. With So here we have write for each loop with dollar product storage variable with result array method, as dollar row variable, this method will return storage data in array format. Under this loop we have write division tag with class is equal to list group item, and checkbox. Under this tag we have write input type is equal to checkbox, class is equal to common selector and storage, value is equal to dollar row product storage variable, and in text also we have write dollar row product storage variable. This code will display all mobile phone internal storage size with checkbox on web page. Now we have C output in browser. Friends here we refresh page, and after this here we can see different mobile phone filter like brand, RAM, and internal storage with checkbox.
by selecting particular checkbox we can filter mobile phone details on web page. To dis In next part we will discuss how to display all mobile phones on web page with pagination link in code igniter using Ajax. Regar if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.